Heavenly Father, Jehovah God, we approach you this morning in prayer to thank you so much for the chance that we have to gather the congregation this morning. It's nice to be able to come in from the world and be able to gather with our friends and brothers and sisters and to be able to reflect on the scriptural truth that you know to us. And help us to put aside the things that are really bothering us, whether they're family issues or health problems or the different things of the world, that we can just focus today on the talk and watch that, that we could be encouraged and not feel spiritually. But thank you for blessing us and watching over us and helping us to learn about you. And also help all the brothers gathering today that they can uh, likewise be encouraged. And all the ones that can't gather because of persecution or different situations prevented them, whether it's health problems or, or the different things that you can give them your Holy Spirit and, and uh, help all these ones that can't be with their warm congregation. So watch over us all. Help us keep on serving you together and guide us and direct us. We pray to your Son, Christ Jesus. We have a very encouraging part this morning lined up. <coughs> the title of the talk is, uh, Why Would a Loving God Permit Wickedness? And we have Brother Yanos from the uh, Nyack English Congregation. We have Brother Yanos, and uh, enjoy his talk. In France, a man drove over a 20 ton truck. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. The Watchtower Bible and Tract Society of New York is being investigated for their child abuse policies. They require a two witness rule that does not protect children properly. And what we can do is we can do our research on Why are they all surrounding him? for it. 
They told me it was my fault for going to a bar with a worldly boy. I was raped and was told you couldn't have done that, and I was expelled for it. Eighteen years old and not allowed to have my mother talk to me for a year. In France, because I was raped. a man drove a twenty-ton truck through a crowd of innocent people for over a mile, children. killing over eighty and injuring over two hundred. A few weeks ago in Las Vegas, a gunman opened fire on an innocent crowd of concert I will get out, but you guys don't understand it. Killing over 60 and injuring over 500. Events such as this remind us of what happened not too long ago at Boston Marathon, as well as here in the United States on 9-11. During times of terrorist activities, men unfortunately had the same question. Why? Why did these things happen? If God has the power, why didn't God stop such activities from occurring? Now, all this... Please look up jwfacts.com because shunning is not biblical, especially if you leave the religion, if you've been wronged, raped, hurt, and you want to leave the religion, you're going to be shunned by your family for it. Oh, I wasn't invited. Please look up jwfacts.com. Now, question why God is not Please don't shun your children. Please stop indoctrinating your children. It's abuse. As even faithful ones of old asked the same questions centuries ago. Have a good day. Please look up that website. Okay. How dare you? Then that conversation's over. Sorry. Are y'all working to change the. I, I don't appreciate the unkind rhetoric. Sorry. That's a, it's that's unkind. A, it's the truth that leads to eternal life. Excuse me, you just call me a janitor. Conversation's over. I didn't call you that, sir. Well, you're a group kid, so conversation's over. No comment. Okay, no comment. Okay, I, no comment. I, I, <laughs> define that's rude. okay. We're all victims. Of, 60 of years this. I put into this. Yeah. 60 years I put into this, and you can't listen to us. Circuit overseers, elders. Leaves on committee, all my family. You, we, you think we're brain damaged and we, we don't know what we're talking about. My daughter almost died with a blood transfusion. My father did. There's, where's the compassion? Where's the compassion for people who've suffered? No comment. Right? They, you, know, you, you treat us yeah, like we're dead. No so when you lay your pillow on the head tonight, you can't unhear what we said. I really want you to pray to your your creator and think about this. You guys teach that you have unconditional love and you can't even show compassion to people who've suffered. Women who've been raped. Not just one or two. Thousands. Thousands. I met Candace Conti in California who won the $23 million lawsuit against the Watchtower. She's real. It's true. And she opened up the floodgates for people to come forward and tell their story. It's horrific of the people who have been sexually abused. Even in my congregation of Petaluma, it's so many pedophiles, it's unbelievable. Never served a day in jail. And they're still committing their pedophilia. So why do you invite us in, but then remove us when we start questioning your doctrine and the corruption? So you don't allow people to just ask whenever. Mentioned on the program here, it's very rude to interrupt any public meeting. Sorry, it's just not a kind of thing. Uh, it's kind of rude to, to allow pedophiles to remain in very the congregation. No else, <laughs> Why don't y'all want to make the change? You say no comment when we just when we bring up the issue of child abuse. No <laughs> that shows they don't care. They don't know what to say. They don't know. And brother, if you have children, take note of what we're saying. It's so very true. It is so very. This is what woke me up with the two witness rule. All world headquarters. All headquarters. Your leaders, the the seven men that you follow, and is that who you're talking about? Do you think my family? Do you think that I should be broken off from all my friends and family? Do you think that I should be alone in the world because I don't want to be a part of this? Is that what you're telling me? Just say no comment if you agree with me. <laughs>
Sorry. Signal yes by saying no comment. Do you think a 24 year old should have to live the rest of her life without a mother? Do you think we should go back to your religion just because we want our loved ones to talk to us again? Like folks do, right? Say no comment if you agree. Do you think you should be labeled a charity when you don't actually help the public, you only help fellow Jehovah's Witnesses? Should my because kids be allowed to have overnights with their pedophile father that you guys also talk to? He goes to your conventions. He's in New York. How does the overlap with your children? With your children. With your children. He's there. He's looking at your children. He's a pedophile. And you still talk to him. I left, and you can't talk to me. Another person died the other day from refusing blood transfusion. Like my dad. And that's not biblical, actually. They're not eating the blood. They're taking it into their veins to stay alive. Do you know what the, what the penalty for eating blood blood tester was? You were unclean for three days, yet you expect people to kill their children over such a healthy doctor. Unclean for three days if you actually need some blood, according to the Bible. But you guys have never talked about that. You just talked about how it's so important for people to sacrifice their children to this false god. Jehovah is a false god. It's just a, a name that some monk, some Catholic monk, came up with a hundred years ago. It's a hybrid name. It's a hybrid name. It's, it's not something that was originally in the Bible. It's not anything like that. Anything can burn somebody who does research. It's not difficult to see you guys are a bunch of false prophets and that what you guys are doing. I mean, these are our families. And, and there's no way for you tell us we can't we can't call you guys or we have to call we can't call the headquarters and tell us to send a letter and you guys don't answer letters. So, you know, thank you for putting up with us and letting us know about stuff, but so you guys so gotta be aware of some big problems or organizations. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do right now. Well, we hope we'll look up the stuff that we talked about and uh, just think about it. The people you shun love you and they want you back in their lives. We just want people to look for yourselves. There's a reason they don't want you to look outside their bubble. There's a reason. There's a lot of facts out here. There's a lot of truth. We care about children and justice and families. We're talking elders upon elders here. I know missionaries. Ex missionaries. Ex circuit elders. I have a good time in my life for you guys. Mm -hmm. Done with this whole thing, man. Oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. I can't live like that. I will not hate you guys. I will not hate you. Don't look at me like I'm going to be worse. I tell you, man, I'm, I'm right here. And this, 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 this evil prophecy you guys got, this false prophecy thing, this whole whatever this evil thing is, you are destroying people's families. And I wish Trisha luck with her lawsuit in Canada. I hope she gets the $66 million to have come out of your guys' yeah. pockets. And they'll, they'll, it'll, it'll start here in America, too. They'll start. Okay, we have to go, guys. Okay. All right. Okay. Google about the tax of the watchtower, and you'll see where all your money is You guys will be put to poverty. It's all there. It's all there. It's all there. Hey. Oh, yeah. Good. Did a very good job. Thank you. I'm live. Oh, Stacy. Yeah. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. It's so good to see you. Thank you. All right. I just leave my my van leave. How are you doing? Paul. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, oh, everybody did good. What's <laughs> Parker, what is Parker doing? <laughs> Hope y'all enjoyed that. That was really crazy. <laughs> that was really amazing. That was really heartbreaking, actually. Okay, I'm gonna finish.